this is my unboxing video for the One Ring Second Edition. And the first thing we see here is a set of dice. These are really cool new dice. They're black with red numbering. The hilarious fact about the dice is that they've accidentally misprinted them with the number 11 instead of the Sauron Eye. Um, but this will be really cool. So that's nice. And then we have some maps. These are really quality cloth maps. Look at that. Wow, this will be fantastic for, for role playing. The old, old witch realm of Ang Angmar, the Lone Lands. Another one in here, which is the Shire. Just the Shire. So that'll be really great. Ah, there's the brand new Loremaster screen and Rivendell Compendium. So the Loremaster screen is it's a little uh, shorter than I was expecting. This is about as maybe <clears throat> seven or eight inches tall. But it's got kind of the similar printing as the original uh, one ring with the fonts and different tables on here. That'll be great. Some of this is, of course, legacy and continuing. Other ones are new, but it'll be really great to start using that soon. This is the One Ring Rivendell supplement. So that it's really exciting because I know that I know that Francesco Nepotello had always wanted to do something that would be related to Rivendell. Oh no, look, a typo. <laughs> it's a miracle that they don't have more. Just with all the, the levels that they've been working on. I like this because this is a 3D rendering of Elrond's Great Hall, which goes along really nicely with role playing. The overhead view is great too, but that's that's really good. Not sure I'm really that keen on this this drawing of Elrond. But I do like some of the illustrations here. They do show some of the nobility. This is the Hall of Fire, I think. And there's some really nice artwork in here. High Elves of Rivendell, of course, as a, a heroic culture. So that's good. What else do we have in here? Ah, that just goes along with this. Oh man, look at this. This is, I believe, the collector's edition. This guy might stay in plastic, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. Isn't that beautiful? That's just, that is just incredible. And 
one inside also. The last piece is the one ring starter set from Free League. So this is, of course, includes <clears throat> quite a few things. Let's have a look inside. So, <clears throat> this is really a wonderful thing. At one time, I thought that there would never be a second edition of the One Ring. So this is super exciting to see the, the culmination of all this work. Yeah, see, you can see the error on the dice here. It has an 11, whereas um, it's supposed to be 1 through 10, and then 11 is the Sauron Eye, and then 12 is the Gandalf Rune. And in this case, it's, I think, instead of the number 1, they've done an 11, so they've skipped the 1. So basically, when rolling with this one, you have to just count that as a 1, um, so that you have 1 through 10 on the... Uh, on the feet die. Ooh, nice. So these are these are cards that um, are for weapons, and also give a chance to, um, you know, when you're when you have armament and other things. Instead of just writing it down, you can actually hand these out. So let's have a look at these. So dagger, cudgel, short sword, sword, long sword, short spear, spear, a great spear, an axe, club, long hafted axe, great axe, matic. Notice that they don't have the splitting axe. That was in the old first edition. Matic bow, a great bow, leather shirt, leather corslet, mail shirt, coat of mail, helm, buckler, shield, I like the artwork on this here. Great shield. This is like the the Bardings would wear. Dagger. Yeah, that's back to the beginning. One one heroic culture. I'm really um, I'm uh, glad that they still have is Bardings because I really like that about the first edition. Um, the second edition is going to focus more on the. Um, west of the mountains in Eridor. So there's some races that they're not featuring, such as the Woodmen, which I really will miss. I really liked how the first edition helped bring out the Woodmen and uh, gave them a little bit more of a, a flavor to that culture. So these are just for the different, the different roles that you may have in a company. And then on, so this is to kind of for each player to have to look at. Uh, for example, it says the guide, there could be only one guide, in charge of all decisions concerning route, rest, and supplies, marching test, world travel, etc. Explore for scout, awareness for lookout, and hunting for hunter. So it'd be nice to have that just readily available instead of paging through the book. And then this is the, the stances, forward, open, rearward defensive, along with combat tasks. So that's really great. Those will be fantastic to work with. And 
and we have a nice map in the starter set. This is pretty good quality paper as well. Got a nice soft finish to it. And uh, you can see the details here, the gray havens. And the western part of the land. I love the circles. This reminds me a lot of uh, Pauline Bain's work for the Chronicles of Narnia. Um, so there's some legacy there too, connecting back to the early days. Love the big capitals here, the Celtic knotwork inside. By far, this is the best map that they've created. And we're going to be, of course, spending a lot of time in this area role playing. But there is the rest of the map. Just really great. I love the style. Much more than the old maps. So, and on the back side, this is the Shire. And this is just a really remarkable, um, <clears throat> well detailed, warm kind of um, depiction of the Shire. I really like it. It'll be a lot of fun to play with this. And uh, definitely a nod to, to Tolkien. I think and his choices. What else do we have here? Well, well, well. We have some NPCs. Look at that. Drogo Baggins. Bilbo Baggins. Oh, yeah, these would be the patrons. Balan, son of Funden. Rory Mac Brandybuck. Primula Brandybuck. And of course, she and Drogo Baggins have Frodo. Paladin Took the second. Father of Pippin. Little Bealia Brace Girdle. <laughs> Who, of course, marries both those Sackville Baggins later. And Esmeralda Duke, the mother of Mary Brandybuck. That's just fantastic. Okay, so then we have a look at that. Inside the box is a miniature of the map of the Shire. Oh, that's just classic. So we have three books here. We have The Adventures, <clears throat> The Rules, and The Shire. The Conspiracy of the Red Book. Ooh. So this will be the actual inner, these are your new adventures that actually occur in the Shire. So this will be great fun. And it will provide a nice, ready beginning to our adventures. This will be, <clears throat> I think this is a, a short summary of the rules to help people who have never played before. So they know how it goes. Which is a great resource actually for everyone. Because it just boils it down. Really like that. Yeah, and it shows here, there's stance cards that mentions that. Um, so it's all just inclusive of, of the starter box. And then the Shire. And this would be similar in the past to um, a book about a particular area, a source book about maybe, oh, you know, Mirkwood or something. So in this case, it deals with the geography of the Shire. The Three Farthing Stone. West Farthing. 
I mean, this is fantastic, right? Because this is what they never had with the first edition is to have a detailed um, description of each of the farthings. Oh, look at that. That is just gorgeous. Wow. On the road, the, the Great East Road that goes through the Shire, a company of elves at night crossing over on their way to the Tower Hills and the Grey Havens. That's just beautiful magic. South Farthing, North Farthing, East Farthing. Hmm. Buckland Ferry right there, I think. Yep, here's Buckland. And the old forest uh, makes me happy to have the house of Tom Bombadil. Old Man Willow. And that's it. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I think I'm going to have to really seriously consider whether or not I want to open up the uh, the collector's edition just because it's such a nice um, you know having a book you can always turn to and open it up it's nice to be able to um, to have it all in one bound volume instead of different different valid you know different books like in the starter set. So I have to really think about whether or not I want to keep it, you know, in the plastic or if I want to um, open it up so that I can, you know, use it. It's got a nice bookmark there. And that that succeeds the uh, first edition. This is much nicer binding, I think, than the first edition as well. First edition kind of um, was too thick and it ended up um, kind of coming apart at the uh, at the top. So, there it is. I'm very happy with what I got. And looking forward to start playing again. <laughs>